ライオンズ TV。During the summertime, West Side Sky always becomes beautiful. It's my favorite thing to do, riding on the motorbike around this time. Oh, hey guys, let me introduce myself. My name is Ryan Ishida. I was born and raised in Japan. I'm a local Japanese food and travel full time YouTuber. Today, I'm heading to a Japanese supermarket right now. I will cook shogayaki, which is a popular Japanese food. Around this time, usually there is time sale in the supermarket, so if I can find some discounted ingredients, I will cook it as well. Anyway, supermarket is almost there, so let's go! Alright, l we arrived. Look at the sky. Yep, in the summertime, it's really beautiful. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno. Alright, so today I'm at one of the most popular supermarkets called Life. I have ingredients at home, but I still need to buy many ingredients. So let's go to shop there. And also, if I can, let's find some good dessert too. Alright, so anyway, let's go to shop. Let's go. First, I need to buy ginger. Oh, this one's good. Let me get this. Next, pork. Oh, this one's good size and also 10% discount. So, let's buy this. Next, I need cabbage. Oh, this one's too big. Oh, yeah, this small one is good. So, let me get this small one. And let's find some time sale ingredients. Wow, look at this big shrimp. It's half price, only 200 Japanese yen. Let's get this. Oh, look at this dessert. Caramel sandwich with a l n u t It must be good, so let me get this one too. Alright, it's good enough. Let's go to cashier. Since I got the shrimp, I decided to make shrimp UK, which is raw shrimp with egg yolk mixed with sesame oil. It's really good with white rice. Well, this shrimp is not from Japan, but if it's from Japan, it would be really expensive, so I'm happy with this. Wow, it's a big shrimp for 200 Japanese yen. Nice! So, first, I need to peel the shrimp shell. Well, I am not really good at it, but I try my best. Peeling shrimp shell is kind of hard part. I used to have a friend who had a really good at peeling shell. Well, I should have learned from her more. And also, since I'm eating it raw, I need to divide the shrimp as well. I usually don't do it for the small shrimp, but yeah, for big shrimp, definitely I should do it. Then put them into the sake. Sake neutralizes the smell of the fish and leave it for 10 minutes. Oops, while I was washing the dish, I cut it, but never mind. Let's continue. Next, let's cut the cabbage for shogayaki. <laughs> it was supposed to be cut in thinner stripes, but never mind. Okay, so let's keep cooking. From here, I will cook shogayaki. For today, this small piece is enough. 
Well, I usually use the peeler, but today I couldn't find it, so let me use the knife. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna cut my finger. Hmm, good job, Ryan. Now it's time to grunt the ginger. Then add the two tablespoons of mirin. Add two tablespoons of soy sauce. Also, add one tablespoon of sake. Plus one teaspoon of sugar. After mix it, shogayaki sauce is ready. Now it's time for the shrimp yuke sauce. First, wipe the moisture off. Well, don't press too hard even you have muscle. Then cut into the small pieces. Add one tablespoon of soy sauce. One tablespoon of sesame oil. Also add one tablespoon of tobanjang. Well, for me, this is enough though. After you mix it, wrap it and put it in the fridge for 10 minutes. Now it's time to cook meat. Place the flour so that the sauce can be soaked into the meat. Now it's time to add the sauce. While cooking the meat, let's prepare the shrimp you get. After 10 minutes, shrimp soak the taste and it looks like this. Then add the egg yolk in the middle and place the sauce. Hmm, it looks perfect. Now reheat the meat and place it on the dish. It's ready! <laughs> well, when I bring this, egg yolk is kind of broken, but it taste doesn't change. Ta -da! Look at this shogayaki, it looks pretty good. Ah, smells so good. So this is the egg yolk. <laughs> egg yolk kind of get broken. I'm glad that I took a picture before the egg yolk broken. Anyway, it's much better than what I thought. Maybe it's for some professional people. It's not that good, but I think this is perfect. <laughs> well, let me teach you one Japanese word. Jiko manzok. You know, jiko manzok. 
meaning self satisfaction. Yes, always jiko manzok. Anyway, so let's eat. But beforehand, we have to celebrate this perfect dinner with tang ichiban. This shogayaki and the shrimp yuke is perfect for beers. Okay, so <laughs> bye. Ah, psycho. All right, so let's eat. Let me start with this shrimp yuke. Well, actually, egg yolk is already broken, but uh, we have to break it and mix with shrimp, so it's okay. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Itadakimasu. Tobanjang spiciness with egg yolk with white rice. So it's a flavor it perfectly matched. Wow, I love it. Mmm. And the shrimp is so soft. Well, before eating shogayaki already, I'm super happy. So let me eat my shogayaki. Itadakimasu. Oh my goodness. Shogayaki is really simple cooking. However, it is really good too. I use the real ginger, not the tube one. So the ginger flavor is kind of stronger than regular one, but this is how I usually make it because I really like the ginger flavor with soy sauce. If you like yakiniku, definitely you will like this. Ah, ah, psycho. <laughs> Speaking of the shogayaki, shogayaki is really popular Japanese food. If you go to the Japanese Teishoku style restaurant, pretty sure you can find it in the menu. Yeah, I still remember when I was a university student in the United States, I always went to the Japanese supermarket and bought the mirin and the soy sauce. You know, the pork and gingers, you can find it in the American supermarket too. So I always make this shogayaki. Shogayaki has kind of strong taste. So, if you want, you can eat a lot of rice. Yeah, I remember the rice was really cheap when I was in the United States. So, I bought a lot of rice and <laughs> cook shogayaki and eat with rice. Not with shrimp though. <laughs> but now, I can eat with shogayaki with this shrimp you can. I think I became better financially. But recently, because of you guys' warm support, I can have a better budget for the video, so I can eat much better than before. Yes, I am so grateful. Arigato. Bye. Mmm. Mecha oju. Mmm. Well, speaking of the cabbage, it's supposed to be much, much, much thinner. However, it's okay, you know. This is a Otokono ryori. Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> well, you know, I don't like to distinguish between men and women because it's supposed to be fair. That's how I believe. But uh, I always wanted to be like a man. <laughs> yeah, so that's why I used to play the American football when I was in the United States. <laughs> well, maybe you are like, how? Well, I used to wear 20 pounds more. Maybe you guys can't believe much, but when I used to play football, I used to wear 20 pounds more than now. Yeah, so I was a bit bigger than now. However, still, compared to other guys, I was really skinny though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, this cabbage is much bigger than usual, but uh, it's okay. Speaking of the shrimp, I still can't believe I could bought this shrimp with 200 Japanese yen. And especially the taste is not bad. Mmm! Mecha oishi. Yes, this is the reason why I like to go to the supermarket around afternoon time. 
because there are so many discounted food. Well, actually, I have made a video about the discounted supermarket food. Please check this video if you haven't. I made a spicy karage. It was really good too. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Don't misunderstand, I usually use the dressing of mayonnaise for cabbage though. You know, because of the shogaki has kind of a strong taste. I like to eat the cabbage itself. Mm. My goodness, that was really good. I'm loving it. All right, so I clean it up. Now it's time for the dessert. Look at this. It must be good. It's a caramel sand kurumi iri, which is a caramel sand with all nuts. By the way, all nuts in Japanese is kurumi. Kurumi. If you like all nuts, then you gotta remember this word. Kurumi. Kurumi. It must be good. Oh, interesting. So it's like a cookie? Bread? It smells so good! The caramel flavor or honey? Not sure. Itadakimasu. Oh, I think the outside is coated by caramel. So when I bite it, crispy but really soft inside. Does it make sense? And when I bite it, the caramel flavor is blooming. Exploding, full filling in my mouth. <laughs> All right, I try my best. You know, I'm a Japanese. English is not my native language, so I try my best to explain how good it is. Anyway, it's good. You know, whenever I eat caramel, I remember the childhood memory in the Disneyland. So as you guys know, I was born and raised in Osaka. However, my dad is from Tokyo. Whenever we visit the grandpa's house, we always visit the Disneyland every year. So we enter Disneyland, there are really good caramel popcorn smell. Whenever I feel caramel smell, I remember my childhood memory in the Disneyland. You know, after I grew up, since I'm living in Osaka, I visit Universal Studios more than Disneyland, but I really like Disney too. Maybe in the near future, I will make the Tokyo Disneyland video too, so please look forward to it. By the way, if you haven't checked my Universal Studios Japan's video, please check that. I visit the Universal Studios Japan on the first day after their reopening. They were really less people, very interesting, so please check that. The video link is in my description. Mmm, what's it? Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, recently I got the Uniqlo mask. Hold on one second, let me show you guys. Yes, yeah, so this is what I wanted to introduce. You know, recently finally I could get the Uniqlo's Airism mask. This is a washable mask. You know, I realized that probably we need to wear the mask for a very long time. So I've decided to buy this. However, I couldn't find it in any Uniqlo. But finally I could find it, so I wanted to share how it looks like. Oh, by the way, this one was 990 Japanese yen. And I believe there are three masks inside. Okay. Hmm. I got the L size, which is the largest size. I'm not sure if it's good for me or not. So this is how it looks like. Oh. <laughs> how do you guys think? I haven't watched the mirror yet, so I'm not sure how it looks like. But uh, I think it's not bad, especially we can super easy to wash this. <sighs> yeah, breathing, not bad. The outside is really soft and there are three masks inside so I can wash and use it. So speaking of the situation in Japan, pretty much everywhere you can't enter it without mask. So that's why I wanted to buy the washable mask and finally I got this. Hmm, how do you guys think? 
Is it good on me? Or not really good? Anyway, I will try this mask in outside and I will check it whether I can breathe good or not. You know, because especially when I shoot the video, I talk, so I need some mask that I can breathe better. But, you know, this one is air rhythm. So I know that this one can be super easy to wash it and super easy to be dried. I think it's pretty good. Let me see. Anyway, three mask for 990 Japanese yen. Yes, this is a Uniqlo's Airism mask. Yeah, after try the week, I will let you know by the Instagram story. Oh, by the way, I have an Instagram account. I usually post a you know, short story like this. And also, I love to take photos. So if you are interested in daily Japan life, please check my Instagram account as well. The link is in my video description. All right, so anyway, shogayaki was really good. So if you haven't tried yet, please try it. You will like it. All right, so this video pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification so that you will not miss my new video and surprise live stream. And if you like the video, please share the video with your friend. More power to the channel, more videos. Arigatou! It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay safe, healthy, and happy. So see you in the next video. Arigatou! So bye bye!